In episode six, Sophia brings in one of Keller's accomplices and starts quizzing her on everything that happened, but the woman is not talking to the cops. It's not just the accomplice, though. Finding Yusef there the way that she did, she's also questioning whether or not she can even trust them. So when she's done interrogating this accomplice, she kind of goes and interrogates her coworker. She gets Yusef to admit that, yeah, he did work with Hassan. He was actually in the precinct a couple days ago. Yusef explains exactly what happened between him and Hassan, and Sophia is livid. Because the way that she looks at it, Yusef doesn't even want to arrest Hassan because he hero worships this guy. And Yusef, not really taking too kindly to this interrogation, just looks at her and says, All right, well then arrest me. I mean, what do you have, Sophia? You have no proof. And Sophia points out that that line right there, it sounds like a line a criminal would say. She ends the conversation by reminding him that the next time Hassan wants to reach out, he needs to speak up and not all of a sudden team up. Hassan, however, is trying to make good on one of the wrongs that he committed. What happened with Ben? He knows where Ben's staying and he was able to finagle the guards into giving Ben an actual good meal. And also, he was able to sneak in a cell phone so the two could talk. Life in prison has not been great for Ben. But after checking in, Ben does have to let him know that Claire knows that he's alive. He doesn't own up to the fact that he was the one who told her, but he does point out that Claire's really smart. It's only a matter of time before she figures out the whole coach angle. Ben tries to change the subject to Hassan's mom, and Hassan says, well, I still don't have her yet. The guy who kidnapped her, his name's Keller. He's a guy from my past. We never would have expected it. While Hassan is informing Ben on who exactly took his mom, Keller, Keller's in a stash house losing his mind. Because not only did Hassan end up getting the jump on him, getting one of his accomplices arrested, he also gave the group fake money. Keller's out for revenge. He tells his other accomplice, if he wants to mess with my group, we're going to mess with his. Go find his wife and kill her when she's alone. So the guy is able to locate Claire on the street, but he's not exactly very sneaky about it. It's pretty obvious he's tailing her into an alley. So Claire, thinking quickly, decides to call an Uber and get the hell out of there before anything else happens. But she's scared. As soon as she gets in the car, she calls up Alex, the coach, and says, hey, can you take Raul home? I'll explain everything downstairs. And later that night, when Raul does come home from basketball practice with, quote, Coach Alex, she tells them what happened to her. And at first, Raul thinks maybe his dad sent him. But Claire doesn't believe that was the case. She also asks Alex, hey, do you mind looking around my apartment to just make sure nobody's in there? And he's more than willing to do that. Because of his willingness to help out, she decides to invite him for dinner. But once Raul goes to bed, well, let's just say Claire makes the move because Claire has a lady boner for Coach Alex. But Coach Alex, who obviously is a son, doesn't want to lead her on with this alias and fake disguise. So he's got to shut down this smoke show. This is a good time for Coach Alex to hit the road. And he warns her before he leaves, lock the door, lock your windows, and set your alarm which he finds out he actually is going to have to do because she has no idea how to do it on her own. The next morning, though, she's able to figure out maybe why Coach Alex turned her down, and it all has to do with a ketchup bottle. When she opens up the fridge the next morning, she notices that the ketchup bottle is upside down, and the only other person that she ever knew did that was Hassan. Now, all of a sudden, it's starting to make sense. This random coach shows up at the gym. She has a connection with him she can't quite explain. He's taking a keen interest in Raul, of all the kids. Yeah, she's pretty sure she knows who, quote, Coach Alex is. But as Claire was figuring this out, Keller was reiterating to his guy that under no circumstances should Claire be breathing once the day ends. He wants her dead. Now, Keller's accomplice, he doesn't want to do it. But Keller's an intimidating guy, and he reminds him that he'd be dead in prison if it wasn't for Keller. So he owes him. But as those two are having that conversation, Hassan's mom is getting the hell out of there. She's heard way too much chatter about Claire getting killed, and she knows it's only a matter of time before Keller decides to get rid of her too. So she's able to escape. 
She wants to get in touch with Hassan, but she doesn't know quite how to do it. As she's kind of aimlessly walking through Paris, she's an article written all about Hassan and the Lupin connection, and she decides to go to that journalist. She finds Floor, and she explains that she knows Hassan is alive, but she needs to get a message to him. The message is, Sonny, meet me at the place where the gentleman listens to his favorite music. And as soon as Hassan's mom leaves, Floor hops on the phone and tips off Youssef that now he has to figure out where exactly the gentleman listens to his favorite music because that's where he can find Hassan. But before Hassan even sees the note in the paper, he was busy trying to protect Claire. Claire had to head to the store to grab Raul some basketball shoes, and from a distance, Hassan calls her up, pretending to be Coach Alex, and just kind of watches her, and more importantly, makes sure that nobody else is following her. Unfortunately, Keller's guy is following her. So Hassan starts giving her turn-by-turn directions to kind of keep her safe. But in the meantime, he grabs an article of clothing, slips it in the guy's pocket, and then once Claire leaves the store and the guy follows her, he gets caught for shoplifting. Crisis averted. Unfortunately for that guy, once he is released and heads back to Keller's, Keller is pissed. Because not only is Claire still alive, but Keller blames the guy for Hassan's mom escaping. He's so pissed that he throws him out of a window. And when the guy hits the ground, Keller figures that he's dead. But in fact, he's not. Somebody finds the guy, calls the ambulance, and as the guy is being loaded in, he tells the police, the guy who pushed me, his name is John Luke Keller. He stole the Black Pearl. So Keller might have thrown the wrong guy out of the wrong window. The guy that Keller's going after, though, Hassan, He had plans that night. He had to coach a basketball game, but those plans changed once he saw his mother's message in the paper. Unfortunately for Hassan, he's not the only one who saw that ad. So did Youssef. And not only did he see it, he's pretty sure he's figured out where Hassan will be. So as he heads to this location of this music hall, he calls Sophia and says, I need a team. Send them over. I'm going to arrest Hassan. But when he explains that he's doing all of this because of an ad in the paper, Sophia doesn't want to send a team over because she still doesn't really trust them. Now, unfortunately, Yusef's going to have to go this one alone. As he heads over to the music hall, he does end up seeing Asan. Asan was also headed there, until he heard this angelic voice coming from the subway, and he realized that what his mother was talking about was a reference to his dad. His dad always used to listen to that song, so he headed down to the subway. Yusef followed him. Hassan ends up lucking out because Yusef gets stopped by the police and he has to show them his badge. It gives Hassan enough time to actually see his mother for the first time in years. The two embrace, they hug it out, but when Hassan looks up, he sees Yusef on the other platform. He knows that he doesn't have a lot of time, so he ushers his mother onto the next train and the two head off. What Hassan doesn't know is that when he was reuniting with his mother, Keller was getting acquainted with with Claire. Claire armed her apartment with the alarm, just like Coach Alex showed her, but it didn't matter. As she was lying in bed, all of a sudden she heard the door burst open and the alarm go off, and Keller calmly walks in and closes the door. Thank you so much for checking out this recap. Please consider subscribing to the channel and subscribing to my Patreon. Hit thumbs up if you liked it. Smash that thumbs down button if you thought it sucked. If you left a comment, I don't get back to you. I usually don't check the comments unless they're like a super comment. Also, if you don't see the next video up on the end screen, not to worry, it'll be up in a day or two.